So my now eight-year-old daughter, Madeline, she was seven. I keep wanting to say uh, first time watch for a seven-year-old, but it's an eight-year-old, right? Yes. Okay. So we watched the original Star Wars, the one I saw when I was six years old. And uh, it was such a pleasure to be able to experience this with her for her first time. And the only thing that is kind of different than when I saw it was Maddie has already seen the first three prequels. So she's seen The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. So she knows that Luke and Leia are already brother and sister. Yes. And she was excited Twins. to see... Twins. And she was excited to see Luke as he was older, and so Princess Leia also. She had some really good insight on the movie. She asked me a question that kind of like caught me off guard. When Luke first meets Obi-Wan in the desert, she said, doesn't Obi-Wan Kenobi recognize who? Um, R2-D2 and... 3PO? Yes. Which is amazing for her to catch that because yeah, in, in the first three prequels, he would have totally understood that, you know, he would have totally seen R2-D2 and C-3PO. I understand there's a lot of machines and robots that look the same like that, but, you know, using the force, he could have, you know, known that this was R2-D2. And so I thought that was really smart on her to catch that and, and say that because not a lot of people did. And I didn't think about it when I saw the prequels. I didn't think, well, why didn't he realize that C-3PO and R2-D2 were the same droids that he knew before? So anyway, I thought that was cool and I wanted to bring that to y'all's attention. Uh, but also, Maddie, what did you think about the movie? It was good, but the one part I didn't like about the movie is Obi-Wan Kenobi died in thin air nobody left no blood nothing yeah he joined the force they took princess leia to what where where they put her when they captured her in a room oh, where was the room in a ship on the death star oh yeah i thought it was the the starship yes okay well, go ahead and tell us tell us what you what you thought about the movie. It was great. I got to see them grow up, and I kind of miss um the mama of the kids. Padme. Yeah, I miss her. She's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So walk us through your favorite parts. I like the part when <laughs> I like the part when. They almost got eaten by the trash monster. The trash compactor monster? Yeah. That was funny. <laughs> and they were like, they're like, save us, C-3PO, save us. And he's like, oh no, they're dying. But they were screaming because they're so happy they didn't get smashed. <laughs> yeah. And he said it's all his fault. <laughs> it's all my fault. That was funny. What about when they were on, um, what was the planet that they were on that? Uh, Tatooine. Tatooine. Yeah, and, and so they went to the, the cantina, right? Yeah. And who did they meet at the cantina? Do you remember? Who was it? Han Solo. <laughs> and who else? I was looking at his picture. Oh, and yeah. I was trying to recognize his name. Yeah, Han Solo and Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Chewy. Chewy. Chewbacca Chewy Chewbacca. for his friends. Yeah. That's fantastic. Was it exciting? Yeah. What about the part where Luke and Leia were in the hanging off that ledge? Oh, brother and sister working together. But um they didn't know if they were brother and sister. No. What did they have to do? They had to shoot all of the stormtroopers to get across, but they needed to have a rope to get across. A grappling rope. A grappling hook? Yeah. 
Good job. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't have a utility belt that has a grappling hook with a rope on it? <laughs> not me. And not you? Are you going to get one now? Yes. Because you might never know when you might be on the Death Star. Yeah. <laughs> or Disneyland. You don't know if the oh, rides yeah. are evil. Yeah, yeah. In Disneyland, you'd have to have a grappling hook for real. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you just. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they made it off the Death Star. And then the Death Star. So they were trying to blow up the Death Star. And so Luke and these other people who were trying to blow up the Death Star, the heart of the Death Star. The Rebels. The Rebels of the Death Star. Um, You're doing um, great, Maddie. Okay. Um, the, so... Um, they were got chased down by, um, Han, not Han Solo. The Tie Fighters. Yeah, the Tie Fighters and Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. So, Darth Vader mostly blew up all of them, and all of the other good people. All the rebels. Yeah, all the rebels, and luke was the only remaining survivor yeah he was well actually there's a um a guy named wedge who had to get out because his his engine failed and there was one other person in a in an a-wing fighter so there's two x-wing fighters luke was in an x-wing fighter and so was wedge and then you have another uh person in an a-wing and then the million pocket so it's four ships out of all those ships that went in there that that's that survived so they were like three yeah what happened to r2d2 he got um blown up blown up blown up yeah by um dark vader and it kind of hurt my feelings because the scream and i knew it was r2d2 because he has a cute little voice you know it's a shame yeah in revenge of the sith r2d2 was darth vader's or anakin's droid that was his and he used them all the time and they were good friends and he, and darth vader just blew him up yeah he did why didn't why didn't he recognize him i don't know they, you know like i said before it, this was the very first star wars movie ever and they didn't know what they were going to put into the the prequels like you know the phantom menace the attack of the clones or Ridge of the sith it'd be funnier if if Darth Vader said three, wait. C three PO. Yeah. And R two D two. Is that you? I <laughs> never could blow you up. You're my invention. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm not gonna blow you up. I made you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a. <clears throat> you should have said that. George Lucas should have thought that. Oh my gosh, George. Come on. <laughs> but uh. So what happened after after R two D two got blown up? Luke Skywalker was heading. Um, he heard. Um, um. Han Solo. Han Solo go yeah, and he also heard a voice say, "Turn it, let go, Luke, let go." And I was confused. I thought he would let go of the handle. Oh. So I didn't know you had to let go of the computer. Yeah. So Luke was on his way to the dash. The, the exhaust port. Yeah. So he made he shoot um Darth Vader and. Well, Han Solo shot at Darth Vader. Yeah. And then Luke shot. Darth Vader. No. He shot down the tunnel and he was in that trench. Yeah, but he also shot Darth Vader. No. Luke was in front of Darth Vader, so he couldn't shoot him. He was going down the trench to shoot into the hole to blow up the Death Star. Yeah, but who blew up um, Darth Vader? Because he was... He that was Han Solo. Han Solo came up from above and shot the, the, the TIE fighter next to Darth Vader. And the guy, uh, the other TIE fighter saw it and he bounced off of Dar or darth vader and flew and darth vader flew up and i'll show you after the after the video Scary. <laughs> and darth vader got knocked out into space but 
but he survived. He did. At first, they weren't going to let Darth Vader survive. They were going to have Darth Vader die. But uh, Luke couldn't do it. Correct. And George Lucas wanted to uh, come back and make another movie, so he needed a bad guy. So he kept Darth Vader. Yeah. Um. So are you interested in seeing the next movie? Wait, there's next? Yeah, it's called The Empire Strikes Back. It's that one. It's that <laughs> movie poster. Yeah, I see. She's looking at all the movie posters I have. Yeah. Yep. So, you interested in seeing that one? Yeah. Um, do they kiss? Oh, gosh. Maddie, we don't want romance. But do they kiss? They're like... <sighs> yes, they kiss. Yeah! Kissing! <laughs> no. We don't want kissing. We don't want romance in Star Wars. We don't want it in action, adventure, sci-fi. Yeah, I noticed because um, Han Solo and... <laughs> he doesn't kiss her. He, he in that picture, he, he he throws up on her face. No. <laughs> no. No. He kisses her. Ugh. Yeah. Anyway, so you're interested in watching Empire Strikes Back? Okay, we'll have to watch it next. But uh, so on a, on a scale of one to one to one to five. What would you rank Star Wars? I like hanging out with you and watching your favorite movies, so I would give you 10 out of 10. Plus, I like the drama. You like the drama? <laughs> yeah, and the actions. I, I love, like, the lightsabers. They are pretty yeah, cool. They are really cool. So, Maddie, thank you for watching it with me, and thanks for letting me share it with you. It was my first time watching it with you, and your first time seeing it, and it was amazing. So next, next movie we'll watch is The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, ask your question below on what you might want to know about Maddie's reaction or a question of her thoughts of certain scenes. So, and I'll do that on the next uh, video that I have with Maddie. So, all right, Maddie, uh, anything you else want to say? Uh, like it, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hit the bell notification so you'll know when we have our videos out. Yeah. Well, if you liked this video, if you like this video, then you should really check out this video. Wait. Stick your finger by my finger. There you go. That video right there. All right. May the force be with you always. Now that was fun.